attacked our Yeah, base. legendary and um, it's legendary and inferno, um, which make up most of the uh, the other team. Hey, Klops, how you doing, bud? Right. Um. Uh, but they got quite a few good players on their their team as well. And obviously, you probably recognise these names. Yeah, there's there's a lot of the the llama guys that recognise. So I'm EU two until next season, and I'll be EU one. Um. So I've actually fought against quite a lot of the guys on the the attacking team. I think actually, or at least fought with guys on the defending team. So we'll see. So right, guys, and again, there's a five minute delay. So if if there is something that's wrong in the stream, right, and you want me to change it, write it. If I see it, I'll change it just like I did. But be aware that you'll have to wait for the crappiness for like five minutes until I see what you see, you're telling me. Oh, I wish they changed the controls on this though. Uh, what units do they have out in the minute? On both so. Teams? The attackers have got flames up, they've got some palace guards, obviously my territory to push stuff in. They've got Demesne Spearman. <laughs> oh, I think it's just a few units, isn't it? <laughs> Probably, yeah. He's got two golds. Uh, the defenders have got a, three sets of Iron Reapers, they've got a couple of Modal, they've got palace guards, Falconettes. Um, blah, blah, blah. And you were, who were saying with the shot callers? Ice Eagle's a shot caller for... The jet yeah, I, I think it's Ice Eagle in uh, Turbo Kazdan and normally the guys who do it. Okay. So B is not going to be defended. So Lama the Story is already up there and he's got that. Um, Falcon, one set of Falcon is is up for the defenders and Header, otherwise known as Deader, is using them. So he's probably going to miss every single shot. Where is he actually? Where is the Deader? Can you see him? Where Where is Dead with his fat head? There's Fatals, another terrible player. All he does is kill steal. There he is, look. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, don't be a dickhead when you're streaming. Fatal, would I ever? Would. Me. Come on. <laughs> right, so the defenders are pulling back. As you can see, a completely different strategy to what Rose just did. So they're going to do it, if you like, a, a standard defense of the supply in C. Yeah. Which might actually be a bad idea because I, I they can get the trapped. They have Outriders on the defense. Outriders are banned. Outriders oh, and yeah, Kashyyyk's yeah, are banned. that's true. Okay, well, I know that they normally use a few of them on this map when I've played with them yeah. um, defending. So they have to change it the up a little bit. Got... I'm, I'm very surprised they haven't got any flames. That's going to yeah. make this, if they go for the supply point, the attackers, it's going to make it a lot easier because obviously the flames are very dominant in that position. Yeah, the, the attackers have got two sets of flames in the match. They've only got one out at the minute, but they've got two sets of flames in the match. Um, cavalry wise, it looks kind of even. The attackers have more armigers than the defenders, though. The, 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 the defenders have got monastics? a wedge of. They've got monastics. Yeah, yeah, they've got monastics and one set of wing to SARS. Mm, that's interesting. Have they got two sets of armigers as well, or just one set? One set of armigers for the defenders, and the attackers as well have a couple of monastics, uh, one wing to sar, and three sets of armigers. So they've got a slight, slight cavalry advantage for the attackers. The breach is still up though. Yeah, they uh, obviously Wait. didn't think that they were going to defend. Um, Before this fight parade. starts, I think the gate's down. I'm just going to double check. I can't see on the map, so I'm going to. just scooting here the gate is open so they can at least get through the gate if they get pushed back however relying on the fact that they can get back in the gate if that's the only option and they're using cavalry is not always the best idea yeah so if they push and get wiped then and then they can just get blocked could, at the they, gate they <laughs> and block them on the gate yeah a good thing but it looks like they're going to do a similar thing what rose did on the attack they're going to push down the the b staircase Right, so they've seen that treb, which is good for the defenders. They swapped that. Uh, Falconetti placement from the attackers up here was pretty good as well. He was getting some shots off. As you can see, the defenders have had to stack their dudes in the corner to not to not lose anything. Why does it say slabs are EU1? What do you mean? It doesn't say anything on this one for what team's what? Right, I think he means when you showed um, the picture of the groups. 
Oh, ah, no, right, no. yeah, 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 when I, when I showed it on yeah, my Discord it must, thing. It must just be an error. That um, could be an error. Or there's literally a team called Slavs, and it's not like Legacy of the Slavs from EU2, it's just a team that's called themselves the Slavs. Is it? It could be, yeah, I don't know. So here comes the actual push now. Uh, so... Treb, the, uh, there we go, Treb and the rotation yeah. from the just... supply point. Voice attack is working. And apparently voice attack's working, so brilliant. Oh, they oh they've they seen it, it, they've seen it, yeah. Oh. Oh my god, you see the units skirting the wall there. The Falconettis were set up as well, they got pushed back. So the Jack Ultra is like, individually the players are on the fucking ball, man. Unless like they've got one dude just constantly looking for Trebs. Falconet yeah, yeah. is their placement, look, Lu and Leon head Kerr. Header's normally looking for Trebs. Lu and Leon Kerr's got a good oh, setup yeah. on his Falconet is there. Got like a good high position to get shots off. Yeah, Jack to... Yeah, they're they... going to pinch him from the staircase now. Yeah, they're going to get blocked there, though. They just need to Madau. watch the back from C. It looks like they're coming around the back with uh, Keshigs, maybe? No, or there's no Keshigs. Top? That's Ooh. Monastics. Ooh, wow, that charge was good, though. Very good. They're... Did they're you see? Like... He literally timed the Monastic charge perfectly. They managed to just turn white just before they hit the... Uh, yeah, before they actually good. hit them. It looks... I can't see what units they have left on the attacking side, but there's a good blob of them there, so... Yeah, I think they're winning. Uh, yeah. The defenders have lost four heroes, at least. Yeah, I think that they're going to have to call the retreat, the defenders. Yeah, see, now, unless... see looks lost. That treb, though, is just... They've just trebbed a lot of their own stuff. Header and Youngs is pushing through. I think Header had Falcon 8 up, though, didn't he? He might be trying to just be stalling, but it's... Yeah, he's, he's going to die, like, instantly. If you shouldn't uh, see, they shouldn't be funneling. I don't know, they haven't got a lot on there at the minute. It's risky. Monastic. If, if it doesn't work, they're going to waste a lot of units trying to retake this. Yeah. And they've got another flank coming in now. Ar Arnamore is coming on the flank. Yeah, 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 Bravo as well, just got another charge off, but Ka Kalashnikov is coming in with cavalry. I mean... Uh, it's close. They're, they're it's close. Is. That Treb though is going to do work, very stopping the risky, reinforcements. Though. Very risky. It looks like they're starting to push them back, but the unit deficit, they've lost a lot more units, I think. Yeah. How many, how, how many units have been lost on each side? I'm going to have a quick gun. So 360 lost on oh, the okay. attackers and 380 on the defenders, uh, so it's fairly, fairly even. even. Yeah, they just have more higher quality units on the defense side then. Yeah. The Trebs, that's not going to hit much. No, that Treb wasn't the best. Uh, what did they ban, Ruffle? Outriders have been banned and Keshigs. So on the last fight, we just had Outriders were absolutely pivotal on the first defense. Um, they did work, man. So here's where we're going to have a reset as well. The, de the attackers even obviously have to fucking take a breather, reset, rethink. Um, honestly, if I was the defenders, I would be considering blocking the gateway. Oh, it's too late. They're pushing through already. It's too late, yeah. But the breach is still up, so if they do push them out one time, because they've got numbers for at least two, three more pushes, if they would clear them again or wipe them again, it might be an option to just block that gate. Stop them getting in so easily. Still got eight trebs left as well for the attackers. Yeah. So... they got a lot of trebs. So the attackers have got some Shenjins out now. They've still got their Falconettis. Oh, that's Defenders, what am I on about? They've still got Falconettis, they've got Shenjin, they've got some Javelins, Palace Guards. Bought a bracket, they've got Pike Militia out, Grey Air Garrison, they've got Wings there. Imp Shields as well, they've got Imp Shields. For the attackers, yeah. yeah. Imp Shields, that's probably to protect the Sifferophanoi, so the Flamey Boys, they've got Zakalian up the attackers as well. Uh, Mudao, Winged Assars. I, th it's I think be interesting. I saw a similar um, on the core tournament, they used um, uh, Imp Shields on this map as well, I believe. Hmm. From what I, can remember I mean, if you that. put them in circle and you just put like the Flamey Boys right in the middle of them. I think I think they used them on a push like they're doing now, and they had the shields in the front and just pushed as a blob. Oh, just so that they, the, the shields would take the hit, basically. Yeah. That Treb's going to be good. Has Hedda seen it? Hedda and Youngs? Uh, yeah, they have. They have. They have. Yeah. yeah. Seen but that put the Falcos out of the position Ooh. on this push, which is kind of good for them. Yeah, it only hit a couple of uh, Iron Reapers as well. So, yeah, but moving the Falcos is a. Uh... Oh, they've set back up again now, though. So you got Crow the Mercenary coming around the side here. If Tocho doesn't see that, he's got Winged Assars though. I think Tocho's been told to wait in the background though, because he hasn't even tried. Oh no, they jumped on, they jumped on a cap. 
So oh. Ice Eagle and Jack have gone back here to st uh, to kill the Falconettes that are on the stairs as well. They're fairly confident that they're going to win the fight. Tocho is going to flank back around to the what's that southwest side, and he's going to get a rear charge on basically. Although he's going to get met by Don. Don's got Madao, so Tocho is going to have to <laughs> reconsider. The defenders are down three heroes as well. The attackers have now taken out the Falcon A's from the defenders as well. Tocho's just got a good charge off there though. A they shot they got by stopped. the Sifir off and I, didn't they? Yeah, the fight was killing them now with a musket by the looks of it, but it looks yeah. like it looks like they're gonna get C. The defenders have eight alive at the moment. Yeah, and I think they're going to have to look at cutting their losses and pulling back. 300 units short, so if they get pushed back to home, it's going to be hard to hold it if they're yeah. down on... Even with just being peasants, like it's going to make a difference on the units. The unit loss is fairly similar as well. It's just literally the, the attackers have more units left. But they've got yeah. more trash, so... It looks like they're going to get C. They need to fall back, the uh, defenders yeah. now. I think the defenders have already called it. Look, they've got enough stuff that's coming back here. you got Cinetex or something? Yeah, Cinetex is, is already going to get set up. Has any of Seasons. the defenders run out of units yet? Have they still got units? Or um, I think Ioku. He's out of units, yeah. And Kalashnikov is out of units. So the attackers are going straight in, look. They're not going to let them get a decent setup on. They still have five dead. Oh, they've got enough there, though, it's yeah. It's not in the stream, but it looks like there's five dead. Yeah, there's five dead at the top, right at the top of the screen. There's uh, 10 left or 11 now on the defending yeah, team and 13 on the attackers. Blurry, I can see. <laughs> I was on Discord, yeah, because Discord yeah. stream's not as, not, as, not as sharp. But eight minutes on the end point, man. Um, they're 300 units down. Like, kill-wise, it's been very, very close. But the defenders are 300 units down. So they've obviously got more higher quality units. Yeah, I mean... They've, yeah, look at, oh, yeah, look at the attackers. Units. There's a lot of grey units on some of their loadouts. The, so. the attackers have got free pike militia up. They've got village watchmen up. Uh, they've got Matelatori up. So even though they've got more units, they've got worse quality. And I so think is... Elias or someone just swapped flames out as well when you tabbed that flames had changed. So I thought okay. they had flames left for the push, which would have been quite big, but maybe they're all dead nearly. So what what could change it though is the attackers have still got six trebs. So yeah. there's no artillery allowed, but trebs are allowed. They're not allowed to place artillery though. If they can make the defenders blob up and get a really good treb on, the fact that they've got better units won't make much of a difference. I like the placement of Cinetex's uh, javelins up on this pedestal up here as well. That must be javelin sergeants as well, isn't it? Where is he, Cinetex? They've got yeah, three, three sergeants, pike yeah. militia and one village watchman out on the attack at the moment. As yeah, well. and, and and they've got Matelatori, so they've got a lot of trash. That's what I mean. Like they need to make the defenders blob so they can treb it. Um, if it's just like a straight up fight, the Cav is going on the flank as well. Llama the, the Alex and Llama the Story are going around the back. That could actually be pretty good. What cavalry they got up? Amigas. I, I think they've got cataphracts. They've got cataphracts up. Yeah, they've got short swords there watching it. And Medals? Is that Medals? Or no, no. I fought a Brachio, yeah. Oh, another Cav. They've been pinched though. The points. The blues have pushed cleared. in though. The points getting cleared. There's too, too many of them went wow. the flank by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, they've still got enough well. dudes there to stop it, so it's not that it's much a of a problem. Trip. Good trip. Yeah. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can get a, an oh, overview. Uh, one of the guys is coming around now with Cav. But there's not a lot by the looks of it, but... Nah. The attackers as well are blocked off this side point, so when the defenders come back in, they can't just instantly get back in. I'm going to move this way. So, ah, uh, they've both 12 heroes left alive for the attackers. 10 for the defenders. The Big Mac's moving is... I'll uh, fought Brachio even back up onto the point to actually get some killing power in. Yeah, they, need to, put them on they the... need to get rid of them for the shows. It looks like they're the only unit really there left. The defenders have lost. They're very good at killing heroes. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're... yeah. Oh, they just got wiped now. I think yeah, this is GG. yeah. This is GG. They've got 5 minutes 30 to basically trickle feed the point and hope that they can hold on. They've got 230 uh, units to 460. It's... With the four, if the four Bracers are still there and you're only a hero, they're just going to nuke everyone that gets them. Yeah. There's only four alive. It, there's no way they can. The respawners would be too slow. Yeah. I'm shocked that the attackers won that fight. Because, like, on, when we looked at the tab, the attackers had, what, three pike militia and two tier one units out. And the defenders basically had all good units by, like, one. 
and the the trebs weren't that amazing that it stopped everything i think it's what you said they overreacted to the cavalry coming around the back and then just got pushed off the point and couldn't get back on it pretty much yeah you kind of have to when they've got the trash units you have to kind of engage with all your good units in one blob they were kind of a bit spread out but i think that was to not get trebbed yeah but it was a good push the, the flanks won yeah. that on the attack that was but even with the unit advantage they were still in a good position to win that i, I just don't think it was a good call to try and push back onto C once they did that big first push because they waste, wasted a lot of good units trying yeah. to retake that i think the defenders would have benefited from the uh, flamey boys there so the sifra off annoy especially with the big blob fights at the end yeah, on Looking C, at the hero wow. deaths as well, uh, the attackers have had, what, two guys yeah, that had died did. three wow. times? The defenders had a lot more dudes on three deaths. Nobody over three deaths, though. Yeah, which is odd to see. Norm like, there's a lot of attackers there that have got even no or one death.